Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Heidi. And today, Heidi creates a really delicious strawberry vinaigrette dressing. What I love about this dressing is that if you're on like a low, any kind of low carb um, type of diet, um, this has virtually no carbs. The, on the only carbs that are in here are come from the erythritol and it's those are negligible. You can minus those right off. So the, the, the net carbs are almost nothing. So it's a wonderful dressing to have and it enhances any salad remarkably. So stick around. We're going to have a wonderful time making this dressing. And if at any time while you're watching this video, if you like what you're seeing, please give it a thumbs up. Just press that little thumbs up button down there and, um, and subscribe. I'd love to see you back here. Um, taking part in everything that we're creating together and um, yeah so stick around watch and let's have fun making a salad dressing here are the items that we'll be needing to make the dressing a blender organic unrefined coconut oil balsamic vinegar a zero glycemic sweetener of your choice. In this instance, I'm using Pure, which is an organic erythritol, and fresh strawberries. So we're going to go ahead and mix the ingredients together for the this um, strawberry balsamic uh, vinaigrette dressing. And really, this is such an easy, easy dressing. And really, all salad dressings are very easy. In fact, I don't know why more of us aren't making our own dressings because the ingredients are simple and um, you can really get some wonderful flavor flavors. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start out with the coconut oil. And I'm here in Florida, so my coconut oil pretty much is always liquid because it's warm. And I'm going to go ahead and put one third, excuse me, one quarter cup of the coconut oil into a blender the blender cup and then I have um, an eighth of a cup of the balsamic vinegar then um, of the pure I'm using um, oh three to four teaspoons of the pure really you want to just kind of sweeten it to taste some people like there's a little more vinegary some type people like it a little more sweet and then I also put a, um, a pinch of salt in there as well and then um, here I've cut some strawberries. I've, I've cleaned them and uh, decapped them and dropped those in there. And and that's kind of a lot of strawberries for that. And maybe I would do two normally, but heck, let's just get crazy and do lots of strawberries. Okay, so this is the important part of the dressing. And that's why we're making it into a blender. One, one reason is so we can puree the strawberries. And then another reason is, is to create the emulsification process. We want to emulsify this dressing. And the reason is, coconut oil has a very uh, low melting point. So that means, you know, if this is like a regular vinaigrette dressing and you stick it in the refrigerator, coconut oil is going to get hard. And you won't be able to pour it over your uh, salads. So we're going to emulsify it. And what that basically means is we're going to put it on the blender. And normally at home in Wisconsin, if I'm not on the boat, I would have my Vitamix, turn it on and just leave it. In the emulsification process, we need to blend this on, in the blender long enough for it to heat up. There's a lot of friction happening in there with the bl blade spinning. So that's going to create heat, which is going to help with the emulsifying of this. So we're going to put this on the blender and we're going to actually let it go for quite a while. And I'll do this part sped up. So I ended up running this on the blender for about five to six minutes and it actually should feel pretty pretty warm almost hot in fact and that that gets it blended and emulsified really well so this is my this is actually my my smoothie blender it's not really uh, conducive for you know making things like this although it works it just it involves me versus I can't just leave it because I have to press down on it in order to make it work 
So um, normally I would be making this in my Vitamix, and I can and I can just turn it on, leave it while I work around the kitchen, like getting my salad ready and getting the rest of the meal ready. Um, and so you can see, it's just it has a really nice consistency. It's thickened. Mm, oh my gosh, and it tastes amazing. This is a really really good dressing. <laughs> oh, gosh, it's so good. All right. And then, you know what? Um, I like to save pretty little jars from other things. This one I thought would make a great dressing container. So I am going to pour my dressing right into there. Now, this is probably just a little less than a cup of dressing. And um, you can certainly double this recipe, you can triple it, quadruple it, however you need to do for the amount of people that you're going to serve. And I like to get every little last bit and drip out of there, so I'm going to use my spatula here to get it all out. Now something that you might be asking is, do you have to emulsify your salad dressing? And the answer to that is no, you do not. Um, if you plan on using your dressing right away, um, you certainly don't have to emulsify it. You can just blend it until the strawberries are completely broken down and you're good to go. Um, but if you are wanting to store it in the refrigerator and be able to pull it back out again and use it right away, then you would want to emulsify it. Otherwise, it'll be solid when you pull it out of the refrigerator. So if you're one of those people that doesn't use their blender very much because you hate cleaning it, well, here's a really simple way to clean your blender. Just put some water in it, a drop of dish soap, stick it back on your blender base, and mix, and it cleans it. Voila! All you have to do is rinse it, and it's good to go. Well, now that we've made the dressing, I want to share with you my favorite salad to have with this particular dressing. Um, it's actually just a bed of fresh baby spinach, and we got strawberry slices, uh, cherry tomatoes, pecans, blue cheese or gorgonzola crumbles. Uh, you can do sliced onion on there as well. I also love it with grilled chicken and fi or fish even on it. So I hope you give it a try and um, if you do, let me know. I'd like to know how you, how you like it. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time on Heidi Creates.